Hi there, stranger. I didn't see you over there. Welcome, welcome back. Okay, okay, so before you click off the video, this is Ross from the future. I wanted to just make an update because Jacksepticeye did address this on his Brain Lake basically channel where he runs this channel with Ethan, I think Nestor, it's his name if I'm correct. And they did talk about the subject because obviously you want to milk the drama as much as possible, but he did address it. And I wanted to make an update here because I'm still going to upload my video because I think I just had like good points basically in it and I was talking and I was right what I was saying in the video because I did listen to his answer but I still want to upload it overall since it's a good subject to talk about and a little bit of a interesting conversation to have. But yeah I felt the need to update basically the video before I start since it's a little bit old in this point like you know the topic I usually record this but I don't have time to edit it takes me one week two weeks sometimes to like edit and just like upload the video sometimes i have older videos which i upload but yeah overall as i mentioned in the video if you're gonna watch it it's not gonna be like you know like drama or anything like that with just some jokes and some stuff and people usually like taking it out of context but it's definitely worth checking the video so go ahead and check the video from the brain leak podcast so you can actually listen to check something i talk about it and if you want and you still feel like watching my video, don't forget to do that as well. And one more thing, because I forgot, now I'm going to do this from the beginning of the video. If you do enjoy this video as well, don't forget to leave a like and support all that good stuff. My last video, which I did, got a pretty decent like support rate because I did that in the beginning of the video rather at the end. And overall was like really good to see. The second I said that my phone turned on, I think the government it's like <laughs> listening on me. But welcome back to the series where I give you my unfiltered opinion. And basically I'm pushing my opinion on you even though you don't want it. I'm that guy. The strange guy from the middle of the corner of the internet, the bold guy, the shitty quality lighting guy. But yeah, welcome back to Raw Stocks. I know why I started like that, I just feel like basically talking like that for some fucking reason. So today we're gonna talk about something that everybody already talked about or they're talking about because like usually when the drama happens, uh, every single shark like you know feels like blood in the water so they jump onto it like i do of course if you don't know what i'm talking about because you're living under a rock or you don't use twitter or like youtube or anything like that but you're somehow on youtube and you're watching this video <laughs> which i doubt um today i want to talk a little bit about like you know the drama which is like jacksepticeye against mr beast i'm, I'm putting like against in quotes because it's like not really a situation where it shouldn't be like a drama to begin with but that's why i'm talking about and the reason why i'm doing this of course it's for cloud but besides that i'm just like literally doing it because i think it's like raising an interesting point to discuss and this being like people not able to handle like other people having different opinions or, or criticisms about them because this happens like really often on youtube we've seen it over and over and over again like it's been just an era where like the drama was like really really popular on youtube and all the people were like just basically beefing with each other i know exactly the time frame period because i forgot about it i think when leafy was around but like that time frame was basically just people beefing with each other and just having hate and it's still happening until today but i think it died down a little bit to some extent but yeah since like a lot of content creators and people are doing this there's going to be like some few bad apples or more bad apples like creeps pedophiles and other people which bas basically look to fight all of the time for no reason and also like you know not just on youtube like twitter and other just like uh, social media basically the globalization and all people being connected and united everyone can talk their stupid dumb point like i do or just like give their stupid opinions online and i don't consider myself to be special or not part of the crowd i'm pretty sure i did leave like a dumb comment at the one time in my life or just said my opinion as i do on the internet and someone disagree or not agree with it right maybe it's just stupid and i'll realize that later in life but yeah first of all i want to watch like the video itself which caused this and then we're gonna like obviously read a mr beast response and then we're gonna go a little bit uh through my opinion and what i think about the situation so if you're interested in that stick around and let's get into it I don't know what the fuck it's happening, I guess like late in the night I'm just like changing into something else sometimes because I'm usually dead inside, I'm supposed to sleep at this hour, but I know I just feel like talking about it. Okay, so making myself a little bit small, let's like this video because it's from like Tom Simpson, which is uh, Simpsons? 
Si Simons, my bad, Simons. I just said Simpsons by, by mistake. Basically, I think this guy is like Tommy in it, right? Like Tommy in it, but I'm not sure it's maybe like his other channel. I'm really familiar with the guy and I'm not subscribed to him, but I know him because like, you know, the entire Minecraft thing with the... Uh, who is his name? Dream, basically, and the Dream SMP. He is also like part of that or he was part of that. I'm not updated on that, but he made this video which like started this entire thing. Like Jack is tied into like basically a lie detector and then he's asking the question if he hates mr beast or something like that but if he doesn't like mr beast or if he likes him something like that but let's let's get into it i'm putting my headset because i want to hear this <laughs> do you like mr beast no okay so that was like the big thing right like the, the foot i'm just putting my headset like that because i cannot hear myself so whatever um, like the the first thing is like he said he doesn't like Mr. Beast and he said no. I don't think like a lot of normal people would take an issue with that. To be honest, I I like Mr. Beast, but I like like him as a person. Like I like Jimmy basically. If we talk about Mr. Beast, even though I don't know him personally, I just like how he is. He seems like a good guy and he's trying to do like really good stuff. So I like him like that. But I understand why he wouldn't like Mr. Beast. Maybe he doesn't like the channel. He never said like he doesn't particularly like jimmy so when he said i don't like mr beast he probably talks about the channel in my opinion but we don't know for sure right because he doesn't he did not say like i don't like jimmy but you know he's free to have like his opinion and he's free to choose who he likes and who he's not and in this case i believe he's talking about channels specifically but um i don't know maybe other people would feel different but obviously a bunch of people would like take their pitch forges and just like be pissed about like the fact that he doesn't like him but I think what's coming next, next, it's even what, like, you know, get people more riled up, actually, than this initial response. Because I think, I, I want to believe at least that a bunch of people understand that you're free to choose who you like and who you don't like, or who you watch or who you don't. Jack, oh! Do you think Mr. Beast ruined YouTube? Yes. Oh. Okay, so here is, like, of course like where the big talking point i guess comes into it because people are asking do you like he, the question is asked basically do you feel like mr bistro in youtube and then he answered with yes and again like that's his opinion right like you can talk this back and forward you can make like basically a well-structured point and try to show why mr bistro in youtube or more exactly why his type of content are in youtube and again, like, Jack is free to keep his opinion. I think I understand why he has that opinion, because it's going to be, like, you know, with what he says, basically, next. But to explain it a little bit, I think, in my opinion, at least, I think what Jack is referring to, why Mr. Beast basically ruined YouTube, is referring about, like, the change in content, right? Because, like, before, if you go back, not just the gameplay and everything, obviously, YouTube is going to change. Like, YouTube is going to be, like, a continuously changing landscape. But if you go back in the day, at least like from what I remember, because I've been on YouTube since like probably 2008 or something like that, or 2009. I've been watching people basically was what I'm trying to say. If you're going like, like around and you're watching content, like the content seemed to be at the time less corporate, right? And I think that's what Jack is referring to. Because like back in the day, it used to be like less corporate. People, like what Mr. Beast is doing is more like a, let's say what Netflix is doing, right? Has this series where like he has production, he has like crews and it's a business and he's like, you know, he's giving a lot back, don't get me wrong. And he's doing like a lot better than what Netflix is doing. But as a comparison, as a business standpoint, you can understand that like he's having a crew production, everything. And it's like doing it like, like meticulous and like a bunch of different stuff. And I'm saying people like were not doing back in the day that at least like initially on youtube were not but like late maybe 2012 or later than that people were doing that as well they would have like people employed like smosh for example right they would have like their own company and people employing and stuff like that but my point is like mr beast took it like to a next level scale and the type of content that he did it was always like grabbing attention and the type this type of like poppy content where he's like you know grabbing as much as attention as possible and he's doing it for like pushing his limit and to get like as many views as possible well before it was more about like gameplay and just like having fun and connecting with your community it wasn't about like having millions and millions of subscribers even though like pewdiepie was just like insanely growing at the time and it was nice to have growth and more people to watch you but it was more about like the touch and the connection you had with your own community and i think jack personally like even though i haven't watched him back in the day i start watching him later 
I know from what like, I saw with like PewDiePie and other people which I was watching, like Market Player and stuff like that, they had like this more like of a tight net community. They would go like to events, like streaming and all that stuff. Uh, obviously, he did like a lot of cool shit for charity and stuff like that as well. But I think the sense of community was more there. Well, like, I don't think Mr. Beast can relate to a lot of people. Like, I'm not saying that he doesn't have employees or like he doesn't connect with his fan base. I just think it's more of a like a different type of a relationship where back in the day were more like a more touchy or more personal rather than just like a business side of a relationship. At least that's how I interpret that. And I know I'm explaining this like I know I'm just like seeing through Jacksepticeye's eyes or something like that, but I personally think that that's what he meant by ruining YouTube. Now you're free to have your opinion, just like think exactly how you want, and you're free to take it as you want, obviously, but that's how I see it. Now, in all honesty, Jack, why? Because it became more about views, money, and popularity than it did about having fun. Yeah, and he says literally what I said, but he said he says like in obviously in a shorter way, and he doesn't go like explaining into it much more because I I went more deeper into it. But I feel like I have the same point of view as him. Like I feel like when that happened with him, like he became more about like popularity basically and just like who can grab more attention from people and who can retain that attention and just like growing and growing i think to a business that standpoint like what mr beast is doing it's perfectly normal because he he wants to get more and more and more so he's able to do more and more and more and i think he's doing like really great stuff like for the world i, I think more people should be like him but obviously i think less people should do content like him because it's probably like a lot of copycats, a lot of people which are really stupid and having like dumb ideas and not good ideas and they don't have the money and resources to fund them. They want to be like Mr. Beast and have that level of success, but they're blinded by that level of success and they're not trying to make good stuff or have fun or just like basically make something out of it. They're just like making shit basically is what I'm trying to say. I know I'm like literally, literally taking this one serious, but I, I just like sometimes when like I'm passionate to talk about something. You just don't think you have fun playing squid games? You don't think you have fun riding on yachts? If he Building had, wells if, in Africa? I don't know. If he had fun doing those videos, they'd be longer. We'd see the fun. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, I, I don't know. Uh, here is like a little bit of a hard kind of debate. Like, you know, you can see, oh, if he had fun, he would make the videos longer. The videos themselves are like really long to like record and stuff. Like, obviously, there's like a lot of work put into them and you know they're shorter because they're catchy and i can understand that like the type of format because he wants to have them shorter so more people like are gonna watch them just be engaged and stay there right i think that's what he means by that but at the same time i don't think which i can agree with him i don't think like mr beast is like 100 happy like i think he does that and he's happy with what he's doing like don't get me wrong i don't know his life i don't know him personally but it feels like this level of like what he's doing it can drain you and just can like not ruin you as a person but like just burnouts over burnouts and just like basically you keep one upping yourself all the time so this is mentally basically draining so i think it's hard to be happy all the time or just like keep being happy with what you do when the type of work you do is just like becoming exhausting and just like a massive rock on your back like or like on your shoulders i'm not saying that he's not having fun because obviously i'm not him but a lot of times like this video that he's putting up if you're checking his videos and you know what i'm talking about a lot of them feel more like i know corporatistic in a sense like it feels like they're there to just like grab attention and grab people and they're cool ideas and stuff like that don't get me wrong like not all of them are like helping people some of them are just like oh i just bought this entire shop or i just i don't know did this crazy thing right and like i think that can be also like in, in itself like really exhausted or like exhausting basically only a psychopath can pass all the questions like he is uh oh. Uh, Why are you looking at me? Okay, um that that's it for the video. Like the the guy basically called him a psychopath for some reason. <laughs> Cause like he, he said that only a psychopath will pass all the questions, but it depends. Like some people are like finding a, an easier time to be sincere. Some people are like finding an easier time to just lie basically. Let me take this off because it looks ridiculous. I don't think well I don't believe like he's a psychopath, like to me at least, or maybe he's just like faking it really well, you know, maybe he is, maybe I'm just like stupid. Because like to me, like from watching his videos more like in the recent years, I feel like, uh, like, you know, he feels like a lot of emotions and he's able to just like be honest and straight. But who knows? It, it may be all before the camera, maybe it's all just a character. You never know, right? You never know 
what's inside the person's mind. Now moving to the tweet, which I'm going to put probably somewhere around here because I'm going to read this. So to begin with, I don't know exactly why Mr. Beast got offended by this, because I don't particularly see a reason to, to do that. Like, it's his opinion, again, as I talked about it. Like, if someone would have, like, a, an extreme opinion about me, or just, like, have an opinion about me, like, on the internet, I, I maybe I can understand. Maybe I'm a little bit salty if it's, like, mis mistrued, like, if it's misconstrued, basically, the truth, right? Like, if it's really strong, opinionated, but, like, it's just not something that represents me personally. But, like, in the same time, if millions of people are watching me, they're not going to have, like, a correct opinion about me, or they're not going to be right all the time, or... You know, there's going to be like a bunch of stuff which is not going to be right about me because they don't know me. So they make assumptions, they make their own opinions and stuff like that. And that I think like it's a normal thing which basically people do in general, like even in like, you know, the day day to day life. And people that like know you and stuff like that, even your friends, they do that sometimes. So I ruined YouTube because I didn't buy a mansion and sports cars and instead reinvested my dollars into making content focus on doing good and inspiring uh, kids to help people so here it's like where i took a personal a little, a little bit of personal issue right i understand what mr beast did but i don't think it's fair which this comes like really bitter and salty from him because i don't think it's fair to put it like that right because i understand that you did all of that but when you say it like i don't know like someone it almost feels like someone forced you into it like, no one actually put you to just, like, literally make money to make, like, good choices or stuff like that. You could have done everything, right? And I understand that he's making the point that this is literally what he did. And he's, like, proud of it. And he felt probably offended. But, like, to me, it sounds like a lot, like, of salt, basically. Because he's, like, literally just saying it. Oh, I, I did all of this good stuff. And what's my reward for it, right? Like, or, or I, I don't know. He's just, like, trying to kind of put that as a front, in my opinion. And I think it sounds wrong because like I, I know that people buy mansions and sport cars and stuff like that. And maybe it's shitty to some extent because that's how they decided to like spend their money. But it's their money to begin with. But like no one asked, you know, Mr. Beast to do like this stuff. He did it because he wanted to do. And that's the idea. And when you put it like that, it doesn't sound like, I don't know, maybe maybe there's a little bit of like a, li a little bit of maybe in your mind in one point you were like, maybe I should buy a car and a little bit of frustration, a little bit of soul. I know just that's how I take it. Like I said, I have nothing with Mr. Beast. I'm not like his hugest fan. I saw his videos. Um, I watch like a bunch of them, which are like, I think are really cool to watch. Like the Squid Games and like the most recent ones with the countries where they compete and stuff. And a bunch of like really nice, crazy things. And I think they're like really entertainment too. Like, you know, it's not like just garbage. It's just like really good stuff. And like I said, I know exactly what he does. And I know his like philanthropy and everything. I just, it came off as like, I don't know, like someone who's like deflecting, basically, I, I think is the best way to put it. If he had fun, the videos would be longer. What does that even mean? Well, that, that's what I thought as well. You think I'd give up every hour of my life for 14 years if I didn't have fun? Well, that, that is true. That, that is true, right? But obviously, it's, again, partially, and we can obviously go around and then discuss that. Like when you say, you think I'd give up every hour of my life for 14 years if I did not have fun? It's not always true. Like, some people just give up a lot of their years from their life just to basically work and work and work because they're workaholics. It doesn't mean that they don't have fun with that or it, there is no, no, like, reward or, like, insensitive into it. But they do it because they want to do it. Like, you do a bunch of stuff, like, in your life, you give up, like, time. Like, I do YouTube as a hobby, for example. I do it probably, like, from 2010. And my channels, like, even my Romanian channel, which I have, they're only been small. Like, I never made, like, any revenue out of it. Maybe, like... I made it at one point, I think in my Romanian one, maybe like 20 bucks or 30 bucks or something like that. I don't know what, what was the cap back in the day to like withdraw. But basically, I made just like a few bucks and I was able to withdraw, I think. Same for Twitch. Like, I, I basically never make any money, like, you know, from YouTube. Because like, even now, my channel is like really small. I just do this as a hobby. Like, it doesn't mean like someone forced me into like doing this for, I don't know, for, I, I don't think I did it for 14 years. But the, the point is like, I, I did it for like a long time and no one forced me into it. So... But it is to some extent fun to me, but it is a lot of work to keep doing it. And in the same time, like, you know, it plays back and forth. Sometimes like really exhausting, sometimes like really tiring. And even if you have fun, like, I guess like it's hard to quantify that fun, right? But yeah, I, I, I totally see his point. I do think he's right. Like if he didn't enjoy this, at least to some extent, I think he wouldn't be doing this.
This clip is insanely dis disrespectful. I, I don't know exactly that word, and I'm not gonna bother to Google it because I'm tired. Obviously, there is so much I could say about his content, but I'll just take the punches and the be, be the bigger man's side. But the problem is with that last statement again. It's when you when you say shit like this online and you tweet about it, you're not the bigger man. Like the second you let yourself get into this mentality, you got salty over it, you got insulted over it. You you let like yourself be on the same person with the other person, especially when you tweet about it. Because being such a big dude, like you know, if having so many people follow you, when you do stuff like that involuntarily, a bunch of people would jump to like defend you. And we th this is like the reason why I'm talking about this. Like people can be like short sighted, I think is the best way to put it, because like they get heated and they get like, oh, I want to like you know defend like my favorite person. You help so many people as a person. Like in a sense, if I think about it, basically his content, like Mr. Beast's content, like made my day better. Like Jack's content made my day better, like so many times. So I'm grateful to both of them. But you have to see from like another person perspective, like especially in this day and age where it's like really easy to attack over like like over the internet or attack someone. And this ended well, at least in my opinion, because they they took it like personally, like in in the DMs and talk about it. And after that, Mr. Beast basically tweeted that you know we're all Gucci. I don't have, I don't have the tweet, but you can look it up if you want. Uh, but I think like it was handled poorly to begin with, and like kind of immature. Because like I said, I think everybody is free to have their own opinion, and I don't think people should just like all the time when someone has like a different opinion than theirs, they just take the pitchforks and just like stab it in the ass. Like if it's something illegal, if it's something that goes too far, like pedophilia or just like I don't know like some weird type of stuff of deal, which I don't think it should be normalized or okay, then I understand. Or, or just like it's literally straight illegal, right? But if it's something so simple where you just like have your own opinion and just like choose not to like a person, I think it's just it's just stupid to like get angry over it. And I think a good example of this that I want to show out it's gonna be. Uh, a tweet from like HTHG production or like Ethan Klein basically. I don't like the guy. I'm just gonna say it's straightforward. And that's my opinion. And you know, like people like him. I, I watch a few things from him like a few times. I felt bad for him when he had like back in the day. I know there was like a, a huge, uh, what do you call it, like lawsuit basically. And I felt bad for him then. I feel, feel bad for him now, you know, because it's like shit to go through that. Like I don't wish that type of like bad stuff to happen to people, but I just don't like the guy. I think like every time I'm seeing him, like he's either in some beef or said some like weird stuff or just like he had a, I don't know, like just some dark or just like really provocative comments. It's just like all the time like drama surrounds this guy, like, you know, he's like a sponge. And I think he feeds on that and I think that's how his channel and everything like grow bigger and just like how audience, like his audience like grow up to be. But like it's not something I basically enjoy, you know, it's I, I don't enjoy spreading basically hate. Like there, I have some strong opinions and like I feel strong about stuff, but... I think I can still be like, you know, at least decent about it. So let's go back in the corner so we can read this. I'm, I'm reading this like from this channel here. His name is uh, Bo Blacks. Bo Blacks. I hope, hope Bo Blacks. I know. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. I'm just going to link the channel. This is usual description. I could not find a tweet myself. I remember like seeing this video like recommended to me and I saw this tweet. So he's like basically defending Mr. Beast. Let's, let's read this and then we can move on with like the entire thing he's wrong for that jimmy and no disrespect to jacksepticeye sure no no disrespect at all but like you say no disrespect but then you just like say something which is literally disrespectful he's a nice guy by all accounts he spent the majority of his career powering posting to let's play per day see like you know this respect and then you continue with something which is like literally disrespectful like you're trying to call him out basically for posting to let's play a day you know powering through like basically even you continue here like you don't you po don't post that hard unless you're trying to make a lot of money let's be real so you're trying to imply that even though you don't know it for sure maybe the man was like in a desperate need maybe he needed that money you know like you don't know exactly what's the situation with the guy and what's in his life from what i remember jack the guy was talking about like you know having it pretty rough and just like living like in a in a small like basically household what is it called it was like living in this small hut i'm just gonna call it the hut because i don't remember what it's called a cabin i guess or hut or whatever and basically we're just like having it really rough and you know maybe he was actually trying to save to do something with his like you know his life and youtube at the time was like this like thing which wasn't even sure if it's gonna be 40 years or later so what's what's wrong with him like trying to save money you know and he's like you know that thing when he's saying like oh he's posting to let's play per day 
Back in the day, basically, it's what majority of people did anyway, because like, you know, PewDiePie was like one of the biggest people on YouTube and he was doing that kind of same stuff. I'm not sure if two videos a day, maybe one video, but the videos were like also really short at the time, like were like 10 to 15 minutes. You probably remember that because you've been around on YouTube and stuff like that. But to me, it just sounds like a little bit of like jealousy and just like trying to poke the dude out because he was doing two Let's Plays a day. Like at the time it was like just normalized and people were doing that and I don't I don't see anything wrong with it and even if he, if he was doing it for money like that's fine okay so let's do the continuation of this and do you post let's play is not exactly the pinnacle of artistry and effort so yeah it, it's going back in the same thing the same mentality no disrespect but I'm gonna shit on you and your content because even if you want to be just oh this is truthful and this is stuff that there's just like small jabs to a person because Jack Septic is doing more than that like he has other stuff on his channel like if you actually watch his content, you understand. And even if it's like posting playthroughs and stuff like that, what it means to people and why people are watching, it's more valuable than the content, right? Because like if people have like a deeper connection with the creator and basically they enjoy watching his stuff, like I, I don't see a pro like a problem with just being let's play. There's still like a lot of effort and stuff that went like that goes into it. And even if it's like an entire session recorded and edited and then just like by an editor and post that that person still has to do it still has, has to have the likeness and people to basically like that person it's not like an easy thing or anyway i don't even know why i'm defending the guy he's just like this guy pissed me off like this guy this guy like really has a like a mean way to just like put everything in words also this revisionist history of an utopian youtube where no one cared about views and everyone was having fun all the time is total bullshit it is bullshit and i agree with that it's it's not basically 100% true like oh everybody was having fun but like I explained in the beginning and my point I don't think it's what he meant like exactly what I said there were other people doing it I think it's just more the, the idea of like everything becoming just like a company in a, like a corporation on YouTube and stuff like that I think that's what he meant by it and the oversaturation of the same content and basically just like like even editors I think and people who like edit stuff they talk about this that people are asking them to just like emulate like a Mr. Beast you know type of format because like it's popular and stuff like that when it comes to like editing or just basically like thumbnails and stuff like that you know it's just like the algorithm and feeding into the machine but at the same time it's not a little bullshit basically because there is a point to be made that you know there was a time where like things were different like you can accept that now there's a time where things are different which i think they're totally fine you know time changes people change stuff changes around you know the only difference between now and then is that Jimmy has absolutely dominated space in a way nobody ever has before nobody ever has been before here right Ethan? Like, nobody has been in 2023. Like, people dominated the space before in other ways that people never dominated the space. Example, PewDiePie, Smosh, right? Like, there, there is two people, but, like, time changes. So, obviously, the way you dominate the space, and I do understand what you mean. You mean, like, getting, like, so many views as him. And, like, you know, no one has ever done that, I agree. But it's, like, in this time point, right? In this time stamp. It doesn't mean it hasn't done before to some extent, even though if it was a smaller scale or smaller extent, like YouTube started somewhere. I don't agree with your point in a sense, even though I can partially agree with it. Actually, maybe the first time in YouTube history where one person is also making the best content. Again, biased, again, wrong. It's one person. The question is, is he really one person? Isn't he like just a corporation at this point and having like a lot of people behind him to help him out doesn't he move like people to a specific like location I, I forgot where to work for him does he have like a bunch of employees isn't he, like a ceo basically but you know if you want to pull like oh he owns everything so he's the ceo so he's on top so he's one person then i can agree with you but i think like for example pewdiepie did this before him and i know the level of content don't compare like obviously there's like two different genre of content two different ways he did it basically with less people and basically less space and stuff like that, like I said. And I'm using it as, as an example just to like sell the idea that it has been done before, like really good content as well, and with less, right? And just by one person most of the time. Like literally PewDiePie, I think he, so he was talking about like how he was editing his stuff for like a really long, long time. I didn't have an editor and then he had like Sive and all of that stuff. The point is, I think it's like really stupid to, to say that it's all just one person. Maybe he's the like the person, the mind behind the ideas. But I, it's hard to believe that like no one else is like influences or like he doesn't have like a writing team or just other people basically helping out with this. Even though if he has like employees that are not helping out with this and he's doing like his idea all the time, there's still like a crew, there's still people who need to execute it. 
I, I don't I don't know if it's applying basically to be just like one single person. Also, rising t a tide li lifts all boats. He's doing more for the platform and legitimize YouTubers than anyone before. Uh, yeah, agree to disagree. There's a bunch of people who did that who did that before as well. Again, going back to PewDiePie, even to just Jacksepticeye. PewDiePie is the one who shout literally Jacksepticeye and basically kickstarted like a little bit his more cur like his career. You know, if you want to look at it like that, there's people who did like a lot for YouTubers back in the day too. Like now, there's like literally tons and tons and tons and tons like of YouTubers. Like people want to be content creators and stuff like that, or or streamers and stuff. So there's like an overflow of people. So that's a discussions on its own again. Jack, if you aren't having fun on YouTube, I'd recommend looking in word. Yeah, that, that's a that's a good one, Ethan. You're uh, really respectful <laughs> to people around you and to Jack, of course. I'm pretty sure he's having fun, brother. I'm pretty sure. Not the Mr. B simp. It doesn't look like it at all. But this is just an objective truth. I don't think so. Objective truth, I think, has like it has like you know your your entire point can be like you know talked about. So I don't think it's an objective truth. And it can be just be basically diluted or changed or like talk more about it and just like expand. So I don't know if it's an objective through viral. I wouldn't say that. Trust me, I know a hater when I see one because I'm one. Yeah, I mean, you are a hater, but you don't see you. I don't trust you on that one. You know, I don't trust you with anything. This video has been a little bit longer, of course, because I read this tweet specifically, because if not, I could have made it shorter. Like, I don't know, just something about like Ethan Klein specifically robs me the wrong way. I like I said I, I watch his HD HD podcast. I I saw some drama. I saw like a bunch of stuff. I try to enjoy his content. It, obviously, it's not my type. I don't have anything with people that enjoy his content. Like sometimes they just watching stuff which is funny or like having a laugh or discussing or debating. Other people do that as well. So I I don't have a problem with this type of content. I just think like all the time when he's like in the middle of some drama. I can rarely have any any good points. I think one of like his good points or like good conversation which he had recently was the one with like uh, SQC basically. But I think it was more like him actually winning the debate and just like making SQC look like a like a fool basically. I think that was the only thing which like kind of and he did have like some good points as well on top of that. But I think that was the important part. I think like if SQC was a little bit more calm and just like collected and had like more good points to bring to the table or could have like a conversation around this you know like not yelling and stuff like that i think people would have seen him better and maybe even respect him more but like it inclined like i said he's like uh i don't know to me he's just like a sponge like all the time where his drama he's present as well and overall like his points are not even that good or like you know that you know you can take something from them and be like okay cool anyway i i'm just stuck on that so let's uh end this up yeah final opinion i think everyone is free to have their own opinion you can debate this properly and just actually be respectful, not just say you are respectful and you're not. I probably have a problem with Eden Klein. He doesn't even know who the fuck I am. <laughs> Let's be honest. But yeah, I had fun talking about this. I'm making this weekly. Sometimes I'm uploading like once a week. Sometimes I'm uploading two times a week. Sometimes I'm uploading like once two weeks because I work on other stuff. I'm having like a job and I have other things to maintain like, you know, in real life. So it's kind of hard to upload all the time. I don't have an editor and I don't have like uh, you know, a bunch of money to be able to like constantly grind or pump videos up. There's not that many people watching my stuff either. So, you know, it's just a kind of a hobby level. If you enjoyed this and you managed to stick until the end, don't forget to like support, leave a like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Leave a comment down below. I'm curious to see what other people think. Like if you reach this point of the video, if you have anyone that you want to share with and you enjoy this, don't forget to do that. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.